Hello, so today I am making a short video for Sheila, one of my students who wants to come back and remake a top that she's made before. It wasn't from a bought pattern, it's either from one of our in-class patterns or something she has replicated. So she doesn't have a guide anywhere telling her how much fabric to get. So she's saying, if I want to come and make this again, how much um, fabric should I bring? So I've just done a little mock-up today to demonstrate how to work out for any pattern, that would just in the top pattern in this case, um, how much to bring. So this is an example of Sheila's top. It's a jersey top, so it'll be cut on the fold, front and back, it's got a sleeve and it's got a little neckband which is also cut on the fold each of them I've written on the max stretch I'm not really interested in the straight grain of the fabric I'm interested in where it stretches the most around the body so first of all I'm just going to show you the sorts of layouts that you might do so I've just got this HelloFresh <laughs> recipe card to represent fabric. Um, so one layer you could do is you take your fabric, you just fold in the width of these pieces on the fold. So you can actually fold in just whatever it is you need. So you'd be economical. So you fold it like that. You make sure it's folded all the way up so that this, although we don't want the grain as a marker we do want it to be straight so we want to make sure that's on grain so you measure that and you measure that and you check it's the same so then you pop that on there you flip this one over excuse the scribbling it's just bits of scrap paper I had lying around um, so there you would have both of those on the fold now because there's all of this fabric left over here you can place a sleeve there and your second sleeve there if it was a one-way print you'd be wanting to, once you'd cut those out, sort of slice that, turn it around and pop it behind so you've got, got a pair of sleeves, so your fabrics prints have got one each side. But if it's, um, if it's a print that isn't a one way, uh, you can actually just, after you've cut these out, fold this fabric over and cut your sleeve. Now we've got our little neck piece as well. Now that, because it's cut on the fold there, is not gonna fit here, can you see? So we actually are going to need to place it on the fold with the others and it does actually fit on that width so that's fine. So in this case the length of the fabric you're going to need is from the bottom of there to the top of the neck piece. Now always buy 5% or 10% extra even better for fabric because it can shrink. Um, some fabric will even shrink more than that, but 10% is okay. You also want to consider are you going to be pattern matching? So suppose you have a repeat print here, you'd actually want the pattern to sort of come at the same point on each of those. So just by laying them on here, that might not work. So I would just buy an extra half metre if you're wanting to pattern match on the uh, side seams as well. So I'm going to go more into how to work this out. But the other lay you can do, if your fabric was a little bit wider than this, you would actually fold it in from each side. So say we fold it in there. And then we can just place that one on the fold there. And then we fold that one in there. Now you can see I haven't got enough, but if it was wider, I would. And then I could place that one on the fold there. You see it's not wide enough. So um, with wider fabric, you can actually place both your tops along one level and fold in from each side. You get your two folds. You've obviously got your, um, your pairs as well. And then when you've done those, you cut those out, you've got the whole of this top section you fold that in half or you just fold over what you need again and you would cut your sleeve. So the tops were down here, sleeve goes there and then your folded neck piece can go there. So these are the two types of lays to bear in mind. Now you don't need full size to have a great big piece of fabric. What you can do is just work it out with your pattern pieces. So imagine here, these are your full size pattern pieces. Just for the demo, I've written on the actual sizes of the pattern pieces. So they're 30, 60 centimetres long, 30 centimetres wide, sleeve is 60 by 36.5, and the neck is um, 5.5 5 centimetres by 33. So what you would want to do is go, my first lay, where I just flip over a little bit, I'd be putting both my tops on there, and then there should be room for the sleeve here. So if that's 30 centimetres, you know you're going to be using up 60 centimetres on that folded section. You want to allow a little bit more. So let's say 65, okay? Then 
if your fabric, I mean, very rare for fabric to be less than 112 centimetres wide. So let's say you've used up 65 on this. You've still got a significant amount to cut your sleeve out. You've got enough for your sleeve there and you've got enough for your sleeve there. And you've got your little folded piece that is going to sit there. So if you're going to be doing this full size, you're just on your table or your floor, you then just get the tape measure and you're going to measure from there to there. Now, in the case of these pattern pieces, this, uh, this is going to be 120 plus about five centimetres. So it's 125. Then I'd want to allow an extra 10 centimetres or so for shrinkage when I first when I wash the fabric before I cut out. But also if I'm going to pattern match, I might be adding another half metre or so. So then you can work out the amount you're going to need. This way, we know it fits in the 112 centimetre wide fabric. Now, suppose you find fabric that's 140 centimetres wide. You might think, hmm, maybe I can actually fit them across. So do you remember when we folded in from both sides? Well, that would mean you've got <clears throat> two of those, two of those. So that's 30, 30, and another 30, and another 30. That's 120 centimetres. Now, your fabric's 140 well, you're clearly not going to fit the sleeve in there. So the sleeve's going to have to go up there. Two sleeves only going to be like 72 centimetres. So that's easily going to fit in. You may not fit this in in addition along this level. So I would just add enough for that up there. So um, you've definitely got enough. Um, in fact, if you think that's going to be 120, then you've got say allow five centimetres just so you can fit everything in. So that's 125 centimetres. As long as your fabric is 125 centimetres wide, then you'll be able to use this length, whatever this length is. Maybe you want to err on the side of caution because it is possible that when you first iron your, um, wash your fabric and iron it, it could shrink a little bit on the width as well as on the length. So say instead of 125, we say 130. So you go to be on the safe side, as long as my fabric is 130 centimetres wide or wider, I can buy this measurement plus my 10% extra for shrinkage plus my half metre or whatever I need to do the pattern matching.